Dr. Don Pedro. Hmm. Obaseki, yes. Dr. Don Pedro Obaseki, the Director of Research and Documentation for the Atiku Okowa Presidential Campaign Organization, has made it clear that Atiku Abubakar, the 2023 presidential candidate of PDP, is committed to obtaining President Ashiwaji Bola Metinubu's academic records from Chicago State University in an effort to uncover potential identity fraud. According to a report by Vanguard newspaper, Obaseki speaking during a Zoom conference hosted by Professor Good Emmanuel, a psychologist based in London, on Monday emphasized that President Tidumbu strongly opposes the release of these records due to their potentially damaging content, which could harm his reputation. Obaseki hinted that the revelation of President Tinumbu academic records by the school could reveal the true owner of the certificate President Tinumbu has been claiming. Shockingly, it seems this certificate is associated, associated with a woman. In Obaseki's words, he said Nigerians will be more demoralized to learn that the certificate President Tinumbu is parading belongs to a woman. Why we already have this information as a fact, our goal is to seek the official release of these documents by the school. Hmm. Why some people are saying to Buar uh, Tinumbu was a female as a student, now a male as a president. <laughs> ah, APC supporters, Tinumbu supporters are so frustrated and now they are throwing shame into the bin. The next thing anybody will just come out and begin to attack a uh, UB supporters. You both are this. Why are you people like this? This and this and that. Tinubu is not even helping matter. In the case of uh, his identity or his uh, academic records, is not doing well. In the case of economy, is not doing well. Which area? All the promises he made. Now they have listed 10 lies. Koro Koro lies that, uh, you know, he brought, um, and at least... He has spread even himself and his presidency is just really unfortunate. Which area are you going to say Tinumbu is trying? Unfortunately, those who are supporting him, they are just embarrassing themselves. It shows that uh, you don't want to stand for stand for good governance. You don't want to stand for integrity and truth. Just like he said before, grab it, run with it, and <laughs> and whatever. You know now, you know they do on they, they think they sweet on Lagos and he be the king maker. For Lagos, and I be this, and I be talking, do. But now, <laughs> some people don't tell and say, Lagos not be Nigeria. <laughs> mm. The way a man has which you undo, undo the Lagos, it's not going to be easy for you to come to Nigeria to say you want to be president. Unfortunately, whether you support Inumbu or not, the embarrassment is on everybody. Anyhow, you want to look at it. Well, maybe Tinumbu is transgender. Well, then Mr. Tinubu can claim transgender straight away, lipstick and all manner of things. One thing is extremely clear and funny. In life, everyone is happy to let the whole wide world system know of his academic achievements. But there's someone saying he doesn't want anyone to know what transcripts he presented in the university. Well, the reason can only be done. The person is hiding something sinister about his academics. Once you are an elected person, you are already a public figure. But my take on this is that Tinubu should just resign from office. <laughs> oh, so the university graduated a woman and gave a certificate, a certificate to a man. Does it make any sense at all? If it no make sense, why is Tinubu said he's even giving people to continue to complain? Why did he not say that they should not release his gender? What does that tell you? No, it doesn't make any sense. So ask Tinubu why he did that. It's only Tinubu supporters who think this is a joke, but the rest of us serious about this. Well done, Mr. Pedro. We'd have voted for Tinubu like it like that. <laughs> okay, you like it like that. But you know, Goofy, you know, it, it can't stand like that too. It cannot stand like that. You like it like that. Don't generalize. If you like morals, most of us don't. Which morals you get? Yes, the moral is for him to show. Let him show the moral. Ah, who must show? 
what is Mr. President afraid of? Knowing fully that the results belong to him. Tinubu should bear it in mind his brain on the matter of his removal due to his certificate saga. No any Nigerian is ready to sacrifice his life or any other leader to his or their favor. I'm advising him to allow the school access to release all documents questioning his Chicago mayhem. I just wonder how the Chicago University will be seeing Nigeria as a country because now they know that we have a fake fraud parading certificates as graduates of Chicago University. What is she? Criminal from origin. How will this reduce be solved? As nickname implies the man don't jaga jaga everything. You guys, Atiku Abubakar and PDP should go and find some way to sit down and stop wasting money everywhere. You can't be blamed because you allowed your brain to be washed. That is why you are supporting criminality. If he likes, that's releasing his academic records and certificates for Nigeria to see is difficult for him. Let him relinquish the presidency seats for a Nigerian who is whose academic record is not in doubt as nigerians can no longer trust him due to so many controversies surrounding his personality from the beginning of this election matter who knows what other countries of africa and the world at large are saying about all this unending political abracadabra ravaging nigeria political atmosphere so guys let's say your opinion and have your take on this thank you